with y'all. It's free. So better congrats to YouTubers who turned into killers. We back with another scary video. Turn your lights off because it's about to get dangerous. Oh. Like, comment, subscribe. Should be over 2,000 subs. I love y'all. And yeah, we gonna get into it. Let me know in the comments what you want me to react to, all that other stuff. And yeah, we gonna get crazy. Y'all better watch who's y'all friends, watch who y'all watch, and, and watch who watches you do your homework. Let's get into the video. There are all kinds of people on YouTube. It's a place where anyone can vent to an audience or express themselves. That's why these stories of YouTubers turned killers are especially disturbing, as their video histories in a sense document their descents into madness. <coughs> Elliot Roger was an English vlogger known for creating videos in his car, often telling of his depression for not being able to attract girls and how life was unfair. In most of his videos, Elliot displayed narcissistic tendencies by expressing his confusion and why girls don't pay him any mind despite his self-described good looks, good personality, nice car, and sense of fashion. I've been attending... Uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie, twin. Your fashion is not it, bro. Your looks not it, bro. All that other shit is not it, bit, bro. So you gotta fix what you got going on, man. Cause that style ain't it. College in Santa Barbara for about two and a half years now. And in those two and a half years, I've experienced nothing but loneliness and misery. And my problem is girls. There are so many beautiful girls here, but none of them give me a chance. And I don't know why. I don't know why you girls are- Cause you look like a weaker Superman with that haircut, Jim. I'm trying to tell you, bro. So repulsed by me. It doesn't make sense. I do everything I can to appear attractive to you. I dress nice. I'm sophisticated. I'm magnificent. I have a nice car, a BMW. Well, nicer than 90% of the people in my college. Um, you know, I'm polite. I'm the ultimate gentleman. On May 23rd, 2014, Elliot uploaded a video to his YouTube channel, once again complaining about how females would throw themselves at obnoxious men over himself, and that they would be punished for not showing him interest. For the last eight years of my life, ever since I've hit puberty, I've been forced to endure an existence of loneliness, rejection, and unfulfilled desires, all because girls have never been attracted to me. I don't know why you girls aren't attracted to me, but I will punish you all for it. It's an injustice, a crime, because I don't know what you don't see in me. Bro, really want some cheese, bro? Like, bro, go pay for some cheese at the local freaking, freaking street strip. And then boom, bro, you got some cheeks. Like, there's, there should be no reason why bro should be acting like this because he ain't getting no girls, bro. Like, come on now, bro. Like, like bro, all you have to do is get some some money, bro. Go in that gym, girls start flying at you, bro. I don't know what, I don't know why he start whacking shape as females. That's crazy, bro. Perfect guy. And yet you throw yourselves at all these obnoxious men instead of me, the supreme gentleman. I will punish all of you for it. That same day, Elliot made headlines for killing six people and injuring 14 near the University of California, Santa Barbara, in the infamous 2014 Isla Vista massacre before taking his own life after a police pursuit. On that day, he stabbed three men in his apartment and about three hours later, he drove to a sorority house and after failing to get inside, shot three women outside and later shot a male student in a nearby deli. Elliot would later speed through Isla Vista and get into a gunfire exchange with police, suffering a non-fatal wound to the gut. During the police pursuit, Elliot would fire at the police from his vehicle and hit people with his car. After crashing into a parked vehicle, Elliot took his own life with the same gun he'd been using. Perhaps what makes this scarier than any other murder spree is that the fact that Elliot's final video shows him outlining the details about his upcoming attacks in an attempt to punish women for rejecting him and to punish sexually active men for living a more enjoyable life than his. On the day of retribution, 
I am going to enter the hottest sorority house of UCSB. And I will slaughter every single spoiled, stuck-up, blonde slut I see inside there. I'll take great pleasure in slaughtering all of you. You will finally see that I am, in truth, the superior one. The true alpha male. <laughs> After the video was made public, Roger emailed a lengthy autobiographical manuscript to approximately a dozen acquaintances and family members. The document, which he titled My Twisted World, was made available on the internet. In it, he described his childhood, family conflicts, frustration over not being able to find a girlfriend, his hatred of women, his contempt for minorities, and his plan for what he described as retribution. Elliot goes down to be perhaps the most well-known example of a YouTuber turned killer. All I'm gonna say is, you should not tweak out and crash out over some pussy, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. And what's his name? Elliot Rogers. Oh, he a bitch. Trace Essler, better known as Lens Cap Productions or Mr. Anime, was an anime and film enthusiast who once reviewed anime on YouTube. Well, today I'm reviewing Maple Story. Let's get right to the Maple Story. There's a legendary tree that lives on Maple Island. Well, it used to live there. It was destroyed a long, long time ago. Back in 2006, Trey was known for basically kickstarting the YouTube anime community with his reviews. He helped inspire some of the biggest names in the anime community and was generally considered to be a very well-known personality on the internet. But somewhere along the way, Trey's videos transitioned from being about normal things like anime, video games, and even talking about guns to videos about serial killers, killing animals, and using real guns. In February 2012, he announced that he was taking a break for two to three weeks to reward himself for his work. This is just an update video to let you guys know that uh, I'm going to reward myself with a, probably a two or three week break coming up here from YouTube videos, uh, anime reviews in particular. I might do some blog stuff. Um, I want to thank you guys a lot for sticking with me and watching the channel. Uh, I got more subscribers than ever. I have more views than ever, and uh, everything is going really good. On March 20th, 2012, Trey took the lives of his mother, father, and older brother, Mark. After committing the acts, he wrote on the walls, why did I do this? I love my mom, dad, and brother. Trey's fascination with guns was seen early on, but nobody could have ever suspected he would commit the heinous acts he did. Friends even described him as a highly intelligent and kind-hearted guy. Interrogations found that he had actually done what he did to his family to spare them from knowing that he planned to target Waller Junior High School, with his goal being to have at least 70 victims. Um, I would protect them with my life, but um, at the same time, if anyone was going to hurt them, it was going to be me. Or they were the first immediate human targets in my sight. And if I was going to go out and do anything, they would have to go. And I'm like, there's my opportunity. Go ahead, go get him. A close friend of Trey's, Tyler Adams, claimed that Trey's mind had gone astray over the years, and the only true sign of his decline was that his videos and movies would get more and more violent as time passed. Once he was arrested, Trey was sentenced to life in prison. In late 2020, his channel was terminated. Samantha Walford is a former YouTuber who aspired to become an actress. Samantha was a mother of five, married to her husband Ernie, whose relationship she documented in her YouTube videos. She would constantly—that was like her son, bro. He was like a little ass kid. Constantly complain about her husband working all the time, even though they had five children to support. She would also complain about his love for playing video games. In fact, the reason for their marriage was because in 2014, the couple got into a fight over Ernie's gaming character marrying a female character online, and so Samantha threatened to leave Ernie, but to end the battle, he asked her to marry him. Samantha would complain that there was no thrill in her life, and that she wanted to be a famous actress. 
On the night of February 20th, 2015, Samantha would give her five children high dosages of Ambien so that they could sleep through what was going to happen that night. Samantha had hired three men to kidnap and murder her husband. The three men would enter the home and before abducting him, they would beat and whip Ernie in front of his wife. Ernie pleaded and begged them not to hurt his family during this process. No one listened. They then dragged him out to the middle of the woods where they killed him. Once an investigation went into place, Samantha was interrogated. However, police didn't buy her story. During the interrogation process, Samantha tried to point the authorities in the direction of Jonathan Sanford, one of the three kidnappers, claiming that she met him at the hospital while visiting a friend and that he took offense upon hearing about her husband's abusive behavior. Sanford was arrested along with his brother Jose Antonio Ponce, and the two were charged with aggravated kidnapping. However, the two men were able to provide proof that Samantha was the mastermind behind the plan, along with the third kidnapper, Octavius Rhymes. Jonathan brings the sheriff to Ernie's body, a remote location in the woods. Ernie was in his boxers, having been beaten to the point that he was no longer coherent, right before Ponce shot him in the back of the head. The three men had initially planned to plant drugs in Ernie's vehicle and call the cops on him. However, things changed when Samantha requested that they just kill him. Samantha denied knowing the three men that did this, but her phone records would have- Bro, telling them to kill your kid's father, bro, like- Knowing if you got caught, bro, it's OV, bro. So now, them kids are probably uh, with their grandparents or they're probably in the foster home. Because she, bro, she wouldn't be a fucking dumbass, bro. To prove otherwise, having been in contact with all three of them before the murder, Samantha was sentenced to 99 years in prison. Many believed that she did this for fame, while others thought that Samantha did this because Ernie threatened to leave her and take the children with him. Being a mother who put her children through neglect for a YouTube channel was clearly not something Ernie was willing to settle for. Randy Robert Stair, who called himself Andrew Blaze, was a YouTuber who worked at Weiss Markets. He had kept detailed videos, recordings, and journals leading up to what he'd eventually do on his YouTube channel called Pioneers Productions, but also to other social media profiles and online forums. In these uploads, he expressed his willingness to end his own life while addressing the personal tragedies he's experienced, which led him to a depression. He would also begin to question his gender identity. Um, the more I wore girl clothes, the more I felt like that was who I was. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You're, he's a female, bro. I don't have no, like, hatred or, like, Smell that, but with people like him that like go through that, but he's a killer, so fuck him. Uh, uh you're a guy, uh, you have a dick, so you're not a girl, so stop trying to wear girl clothes. You're fucking weird, bro. Like, I felt like I was a girl, and I found out that I was. I was never. I don't know. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna get canceled. Let me stop. Meant to be a guy. I was just a female soul trapped in a man's body my whole life. And as he continued his downward spiral, he would begin to provide detailed explanations of his plans for carrying out a shooting and explained his belief that these murders would allow him to cross over to an animated world he'd imagined. Randy also had a concerning obsession with the Columbine High School Massacre and seemed to look up to the perpetrators Dylan and Eric as his heroes. Randy's YouTube channel featured short sketches and collaborations he had done with other content creators, but in 2014, Due to a number of alleged unfortunate events that had happened in his life, Randy explained to his audience that he'd be taking his content in a different direction. This led to the creation of Ember's Ghost Squad, a series based on a fictional character from the Nickelodeon show Danny Phantom due to his obsession with the character Ember McLean. On the night before the shooting, Randy uploaded a final video titled Westboro High Massacre. 
In it, he describes his hatred towards the people involved with the series because of how he believes they screwed him over. It then featured an animated sequence depicting him and one of the characters from Ember's Ghost Squad firing into a fictional high school before ending with montages of previous videos explaining the motives behind the shooting. But, you know, I've just, my life's not been the greatest. You know, we've all got problems. It's not just me. Everybody does. And then sometimes those things just make you make bad choices, you know. The next day, Randy arrived for his late night shift at Weiss Markets during closing time at around 11 p.m. Randy went to the back of the store to the crew area and blocked an emergency exit at the far back of the store. He then continued with his duties, stocking shelves and cleaning up from the previous day. Randy then went back to the crew area in the back of the store, blocked the remaining exits, then locked the automatic doors at the main entrance to the store. He then pulled out two shotguns that he had concealed in a duffel bag and walked around the store and took the lives of three co-workers. One co-worker who managed to survive and escape called the police, but by the time police had arrived, Randy had already taken his own life. Bro, people will kill people and then kill themselves. Bro, you a bitch, bro. Also, a lot of reactions to YouTubers who turn into killers. The only person that I was like familiar with was Elliot Rogers, a YouTuber that was named in his video. They're awesome bitches. Uh, I like come to our shiver about 2,000 subs. Share the video to your grandma and your owl that lives in Japan. I love y'all. Chase your dreams. Do some notification for you, all right? I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, we out.